give up his moving parts just to be. He's got wings. You glow in the dark. You talk. Your helmet does that, that, that whoosh thing. You are a cool toy. Buzz raises an eyebrow. As a matter of fact, you're too cool. I mean, I mean, what chance does a toy like me have against a Buzz like your action figure? Woody yanks his string. All I can do is... Why would Andy ever want to play with me when he's got you? Hmm. I'm the one that should be strapped to that rock. Woody slumps against the crate wall and hangs his head. Buzz perks up, his round blue eyes shifting in wonder. He lifts his foot and reads the inscription written in black marker on the bottom of his space boot. Andy. Gently running his fingers over the signature, Buzz smiles softly and glances at Woody in the crate. Listen, Buzz, forget about me. You should get out of here while you can. Woody turns to look at Buzz, but he's not there. Drawing a heavy breath, Woody closes his eyes and lowers his head, unaware of Buzz on top of the crate. Buzz, what are you doing? I thought you... Come on, Sheriff. There's a kid over in that house who needs us. Now let's get you out of this thing. Yes, sir. Buzz starts to shove the toolbox. We can do it. Woody pushes the crate, then uh, stops. Buzz glances out the window. Woody, it's the moving van. We gotta get out of here now. Pushing together, they slide the crate across the desk. They hang several inches over the edge. All right. Woody hops to the floor. Buzz, hey, I'm out. Buzz pushes the tool box off. It slams on top of Woody. Six stirs in his bed. Buzz stares at the toolbox. Woody! Woody! Are you alright? Woody lifts it up. I'm oh, fine. I'm okay. The alarm clock shakes. Buzz and Woody freeze into toys. Sid groggily sits up as the ringing clock wobbles off the desk. He spots Buzz. Oh yeah! Time for lift up! Sid carries Buzz to the door. He dashes downstairs with Buzz taped to the rocket. Woody leaps to stop the door before it closes, then glimpses Scud galloping toward him. Woody slams Scud's head in the door. Okay, what do I do? Come on, Woody. Hey. He glances around at the mutant toys. Guys! They hide. No, 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 wait. Wait, listen, please. There's a good tour down there. He's, he's going to be blown to bits in a few minutes. All because of me. We gotta save him. But I need your help. Alone in the center of the room, Woody stares gloomily at the floor. The one-eyed baby face peeks out from under the bed. Please. He's my friend. He's the only one I've got. Baby face crawls out on its spidery legs and taps its metal claw against the bedpost. The leg-mounted fishing pole lowers itself and a small pogo duck to the floor where they gather with other toys around Woody. Thank you. Okay, I think I know what to do. We're going to have to break a few rules, but if it works, it'll help everybody. In his room, Andy glumly stares at the floor holding his cowboy hat and Buzz Lightyear spaceship as a mover carts away his toy boxes. Next door, Sid gets supplies from the shed. Mr. Control, come in, Control. A launch pad is being constructed. Inside, Woody maps out the plan. All right, listen up. I need Pump Boy here, Ducky here. Legs, you're with Ducky. Roller Bob and I don't move till we get the signal. Clear? Clear. Okay, let's move! With Scott hovering outside the bedroom,